my name is Imogen, I'm a first year BA Geography student and today I'm going to be taking you through a day in my life studying at LSE. Due to the current situation here in the UK, all schools and universities are currently shut, which means that my university is all online at the moment. Last term, I was living in an LSE halls of residence in London, but this term I've decided to stay at home with my family and study remotely. Today is a Tuesday, and this is certainly one of my busier days at university. I have contact hours for three out of my four modules. I'm gonna talk more about which modules specifically I take in a little while. But right now it is 8.55, and at nine o'clock I have an introduction to geographic research, Q&A, so I need to hurry up, go and find the link and join the Zoom call. Ah, uh, okay. So how do I find the encoded there? Like, how do I work out the percentages and stuff? Okay, so yeah, so you got, yeah, you got it in a weird formatting, but that's... Okay, but because here I was encoding in a London and then generating in a London too, what is the generated thing that's encoded? So go back to where you were and then run the next line. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Category, and it doesn't matter which numbers they are. So I've just got a short break from my GY 140 Q&A because they're just troubleshooting some questions that my classmates had. And the way this works is first of all, well, we have an online lecture, so I've already watched that. And then we also do some reading. And then when we come to the Q&A, we can come and ask questions about the lecture and the reading, first of all. And then second of all, we're allowed to ask questions to our class teacher about the work from the previous week because we're currently learning to use coding software in order to be able to create graphs and do geographic research. Research, um, which is a little bit tricky because for a lot of us we are very like humanities based students so we don't really do a lot of the mathy stuff so this is proving a little bit tricky and it's only our second week but I think we're finally getting there with it. Thank you! My GY140 Q&A has actually finished a bit early which is lovely so I am now going to move on to some reading. any further with this video I thought I would quickly talk you through the modules that I do so the first one I do is introduction to geography GY100 that is compulsory the second one is also compulsory and that is GY140 which is the one that I've just had so introduction to geographic research and then the third one was one of my optional modules within geography so you can either take contemporary Europe environmental change past present and future or you can take the one that I do which is GY121 sustainable development and then for my course, for your fourth module, you actually get to pick an outside option. So I have chosen to do intermediate German this year, but you can also pick options in the economics department, in social anthropology department, in the history department. Basically, you name it, you can go and do an outside option in that department. Personally, I really like the outside option. I think it gives you something different to do throughout the week. I like going from doing lots and lots of reading, which is what is involved in my geography course, to being able to do a little bit of vocab learning in the middle of the day, just to change it up a bit. Unfortunately, this week, I have a very long list of things that need to be done. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna go and do is Why Cooperate Chapter One, which is a bit of reading for my sustainable development module. And I think I am just gonna go downstairs and get something to eat because it is currently 20 past 11. And this morning I was in a bit of a rush, so I didn't actually have any breakfast. So I'm kind of hungry now. I'm gonna go and get myself a snack. And then I also, I booked in office hours with my German teacher, so I've got that. And then between two and five, I have like constant Zoom calls, just cause that's the way my timetable worked out. Which means I need to get through all of the reading that I need to do this morning. Basically, this is when everything is kind of due, like when I need to have had everything done by. So I have just done why cooperate. So we can tick that off now. I've got these two things which need to be done by my class. So I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do. Whilst I eat my peanut butter on toast and my peppermint tea, which I'm very excited about, I'm just gonna watch a video from my class teacher for GY100. I have my class later on and I would love to have done this a little bit more in advance, but hey ho, it hasn't happened. So I'm just gonna watch the video now and it gives me some questions and then I'll think about the questions, write some answers. And I've also, I think I've got a couple more bits of reading to do for that. And finally, what are the three key findings or recommendations put forward by Ranganathan and Bratman. So that's a key reading for this week. 
Right now, I am just replying to my friend Lottie. She's also on BA Geography. I have a few different friends on the BA Geography course. I don't think I have as many friends as I would have done if university had been normal and we'd been in person, but the people that I have met have been really friendly and really lovely, and the department are doing quite a lot to make sure that we feel really supported. We get a newsletter every week with support in it and stuff. They've also just started this new initiative, I think, called Geogbrella. I don't know if that's how it's meant to be said, but basically it's like a signposting initiative to try and help us make sense of all the different things that are on offer at LSE, all the different kind of help and support mechanisms that we can make use of. And it's really good. I've seen a few posts on Instagram and stuff. I'll put it up on the screen now. It is lovely chatting to you guys about everything geography related at LSE, but I do have this reading to do and it does need to get done. I've nearly finished my uh, breakfast. So I'm gonna head over onto my laptop and get that finished. So instead of just watching me make my notes and do my work, which is reasonably boring, I'm well aware, I thought I would share with you what I'm actually writing about. So one of the questions for this week's class is, what is abolitionist climate justice and how is it related to anti-racism? What I've written is, abolitionist climate justice also argues that there should be a centering of historical, environmental and social relations in order to understand the intersectionality of climate change hazard with other marginalising factors. And therefore that's how it links to racism because racism is one of those marginalising factors. In the case study, that is given in the paper which is based in Washington DC. Race is the main factor that causes these people to be marginalised which has then led to them being more at risk of the effects of climate change. So in my class this afternoon I'm going to share what I've just explained to you and we'll see what other people have come up with. I've just had an email and I did not expect to get this back, but I've actually had one of my summative pieces of coursework for German back. This isn't geography related, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway. Oh, I'm really nervous. But basically this I think will count for, I think 6% of my German grade for the year. So it's not loads, but I still want to do well in it, obviously. This is like a live reaction to results. I didn't think we were gonna have this today. I'm so happy with this. Oh, yay, okay. Actually, this is gonna be really good because I booked in my office hours, so I can actually talk through all of these little things. Also, I've just realized I haven't actually explained what office hours are. So office hours are one-to-one -one meetings. They're 15 minutes long. You book them with like an academic, so it can either be your class teacher or your lecturer. You can book them really easily through the Student Hub app, and then you can ask them questions about stuff you're not sure about from that week. You can actually ask them about their research. When I'm not sure about something, I can either ask in class, I can ask on the lecture Q&A, I can email my lecturer, I can email the class teacher, or I can book an office hours slot. You can always, always get your questions answered. Fraga. Well, I had a couple of questions. And yeah. then the other question I had was, yeah. you know, um, Daruba and yeah. Dar I still don't get it. Like, I don't understand why. Uh, and likewise, Daruba would translate to like, yeah. about that. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, bis morgen, yeah? Yeah, bis morgen. Tschüss. Okay, tschüss. So apparently I bought the thickest loaf of bread I could possibly find, but I have made this mammoth sandwich. Shock, I am running late again. I have about two minutes before my GY100 Q&A. In the lecture, when you talked about um, like intimate and personal geopolitics and embodying harm, and also the political agency when talking about the feminist emphasis, I didn't really understand what that meant. Would you be able to clarify it? Yeah, we have another question from Thea. Um, in your lectures, you mentioned about um, how everyone should have um, like a certain level of dignity for people to be able to gain those resources. So my GY100 Q&A has just finished and now I'm on to GY121, which is sustainable development. And I have a live lecture. Now in week two. So this lecture is just finishing off. It was okay today, actually. He explained stuff really well and um, I get what's going on. So I'm just gonna file away some of my German notes from earlier and then straight after this, I actually have a class. I have my GY100 class. I think this might be ending. I don't wanna be the last person left on here. 
This week I have submitted a 3000 word essay, it was summative, so that's a little bit scary, but we don't tend to have that many essays, they tend to be at the end of the term. I thought when I came here, I was like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be like an essay every single week. The terms tend to be front loaded with reading I've found so far. And then after reading week, we tend to get a few more like assignments and there's quite a lot of stuff due in. So we're currently in a breakout room. We're talking about cancer risk along the lower Mississippi River. So we have to go through the article, talk about how we can apply an abolitionist climate justice approach to it. And then we're gonna feed back to the rest of the class. finished with zoom calls classes you name it for today i was actually just catching up with my friend thea because i didn't really get a chance to at lunchtime and i wanted to talk to her today and this is my dinner for tonight i've made some sweet potato chips i've got some vegetarian like rosemary flavored sausages and i've also got some broccoli so my mum has just got home from work. I thought it'd be nice to come downstairs and work for a bit because I still have a lot of work to do, but I've just sat in my room on my own all day and that's a bit boring. We have migrated to my bed and I'm going to try and work out how to re-download that stats program now. And I have a class on Thursday and there is so much prep work for that class. And I have, I think five hours of live stuff tomorrow. So I really need to get a move on with doing some of that work tonight. That was actually so simple. I just had to move like one thing to the bin and then put in some new details and everything's done. And so I'm now gonna look at my work for Thursday. It's about nine o'clock now. It's currently very rainy, but having sat at my desk all day and worked for the whole day, I feel like I just need to go for a walk. I am just about to head to bed. So I thought I would end today's video here. I really hope you have enjoyed seeing what I get up to. I actually have my own YouTube channel. So if you're interested in seeing more about life in halls, studying in person, living in London, all that sort of thing, then do go and have a look at it. It is just my name, Imogen White. Thank you so much to the geography department for everything that they do for us, but especially for helping me sort out this video. I hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are in the world. Bye.